Hello everyone, greetings from SRCC Children's Hospital managed by Narayana Healthcare and I am Dr. Chashnal Rathod and today I have my colleague with me Dr. Bipin Gangote. We both are pediatric ortho surgeons here at SRCC Children's Hospital and today we would like to uh, give some information regarding radial club hand and hypoplastic thumb which we see very commonly in children. So uh, I would like to tell you something about radial club hand. Uh, radial club hand is a relatively common entity in children. We, these children are born with a hypoplastic radius and Dr. Chasnal will explain us more about this entity. So Chasnal, tell us about what exactly is radial club hand and how to go about the treatment of this type of deformity. So uh, if we go in a very layman term, the forearm has two bones. One is the radius and the other is the ulna. And in kids, the radius bone, if it fails to develop completely or in case if it is absent, this condition is known as radial club hand. And since the radius is towards the thumb side, so many a times this deformity is associated with underdeveloped thumb or even absent thumb, which we'll be talking about it later. And in this condition, usually because of the absence of this bone, the hand tends to turn inwards giving it an appearance of a club that is like a golf club and hence it's called radial club hand. So how do we go about the treatment as a child is born? So when, how do you actually treat a child when he's born with a radial club hand deformity? And one more thing I always uh, wanted to ask that whether it is picked antenatally on, on a sonography. It is possible to pick these deformities antenatally. And this deformity should be corrected as early as possible. So if we detect this deformity when the child is born, the first thing to be done is given a brace or maybe give a stretch plaster. And if the child presents a little later, then maybe we can think of different options. So different options would be like if suppose the child presents after six months of age or at eight months of age or it is a neglected club hand. In that case, we would first give stretch plasters, which could be with or without anesthesia. And if it is still more rigid, in that case, we add some external fixator. So external fixator is kind of application of a uh, fixator over the hand to gradually correct the deformity and get the corrected position. And post this, we need the definitive surgery for this procedure, which is called centralization. Okay. Thank you Dr. Chasnal. I would like to add one thing to this is if anteriorly we detect it, uh, most of the mothers ask us that whether we need to terminate the baby. So you have to find out whether it, it is a syndromic child. If, they, if it is not a syndromic child, radial club hand is a very well treated and a very uh, well managed entity. As far as we know that as a child when he is born with a radial club hand or a hypoplastic thumb, it is a completely treatable entity. So about the hypoplastic thumb, what uh, Dr. Chasnath told us, not necessarily all children with uh, radial club hand have an hypoplastic thumb. But if it is accompanied with a radial club hand, uh, the, the severity of hypoplastic thumb is very high. So, so what are the different types of hypoplastic thumbs which we come across? So the thumb can be a mild uh, grade of hypoplastic thumb and a severe grade of hypoplastic thumb and absent thumb. So mild grade of hypoplastic thumb is in, in which the muscles around the thumb are good and a uh, hypoplastic thumb which is a severe one, there are less muscles around the thumb and there is an absent thumb, there is, that is the thumb is not present at all in this child. So the mild and the moderate types can be reconstructed whereas the severe type uh, have to be polycized. Now what is polycization? I would like to tell about polycization. Polycization is a procedure in which the index finger is rotated to make, uh, uh, for the child it is rotated and it is made a thumb. So the child will have three fingers and the index finger which is rotated as a thumb. So three fingers and one thumb is called as polycization. So okay. uh, how acceptable is it for the parents to let go one of the fingers so that that finger can be made as a thumb? and uh, you, what, would, what would be the advantages of this and what is the right age of doing this? So in the eastern countries where mostly where we stay like India and the subcontinent pe people don't accept uh, four finger, four fingered hand as we do in polycization. We take out the index finger and make it a thumb. So what uh, 
uh, so the acceptance for removal of one thing for index finger to thumb is less but as they see the results eventually they accept the procedure and after politicization the child develops good skills eventually and they can do their routine activity they can play with a ball and the ch children even use a pincer uh, type of grip and they can also write and uh, so that is why this has to be done very well before the school going age best best time limit is at from 1 year to 1 and a half year of age this is because the brain start developing to uh, developing for uh, so that the child starts using his thumb so it has to be done before 18 months of age this procedure yeah so that is very important because pincer grasp is the one which comes between the index and thumb and in case if the thumb is absent then we create a thumb mm. and the child if they have to learn holding a spoon, a pen, it is much more uh, better to perform this procedure like Dr. Bipin mentioned before 18 months of age. As the child grows, do we need resurgeries or any redo for these procedures? Yeah, so if in, in radial club hand, yes, we need a resurgery for this procedure because radial crumb hand we, we have absent radius in most of the cases so there is an absent radial pose so there is a chance of the carpus subluxating on the radial and the volar side so we need a resurgery eventually as the child grows and there are other growth problems as well like a short shortened uh, forearm yeah yeah so what do you do exactly chasnal for a shortened forearm so if we see in older kids child? Like as they grow in height, each of their bone grows and if the child has a unilateral or one-sided radial club hand, there might be a discrepancy that the other arm is growing and the affected one is short. In such cases, lengthening of the forearm is performed. So lengthening of the bone which is present, which we have centralized in the previous surgery needs to be done. And post that we might need to do a redo for getting the carpus subluxation also together in place. So that is uh, what uh, we would probably be expecting one or two lengthening procedures as the child grows. Yeah. So that is uh, correct that we don't do more than two procedures and uh, mostly above 14 years of age when the child uh, is near to the skeletal maturity because otherwise it can cause shortening also so we have to bring it to the length of the other side, other hand so that is the thing about uh, the radial club hand and polycization so how do you like to grade this procedure or uh, what would you like to tell people about this problem in future will, will the child look normal in the end yeah so uh, all the efforts what we just mentioned and earlier the efforts we put it is all to make the affected hand look near normal to the opposite hand and each of these procedures give very good results if they are done at the right time so centralization should be ideally done before age 1 and the polycization should be aimed before age 14 to 18 months and lengthening would be recommended in one or two as one or two procedures at each of the growth spurts and myself and Dr. Pippin we have seen many kids over the last decades they do wonderfully uh, well with this procedures uh, some of the kids they play various instruments and uh, even in games there are kids who have been playing cricket, karate and especially throwing ball with the grasp which they have developed post polycization so I think it's a very rewarding procedure and the timeline is very important here and we at SRCC Children's Hospital are always here to help your child get the best treatment at the right time. Thank you.